Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, I am The Crafty Author and welcome to my quilting studio. We have been working on the Sawtooth Star uh, quilt block. I did go live on Saturday um, in case you missed that. But what I wanted to tell you is I'm going to do a video here showing you how to actually cut it and um, how to trim it down because I know Saturday's video is very long and I made a few mistakes during that time because it does happen. Um, and it just so happened to happen while I was live. So I wanna show you how to make the block and we're gonna trim it down. I'm gonna show you how to square up your block too once it's sewn together. Um, we are going to make these blocks. We are cutting them down to I, I, I just wanted to keep it real simple so that anybody that wanted to make this could. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine, should be nine by nine, but. So the blocks are nine inches by nine inches, okay? So you would trim it down to a nine inch block. So. We're gonna just get started and I'm gonna show you how I do this. Now. So you're going to need one five inch square, four three and a half inch squares of a darker fabric, four three and a half inch squares of a lighter fabric, and four three inch squares for your corners. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab your ruler and your stack of your lighter fabric and I am just going to turn it with the good side facing down. I am going to work with a friction pin. I'm gonna do it in black so you can see it. And I'm just gonna make a line, a straight line from this corner down to this corner. So I'm just taking my ruler and I'm gonna line up on there and just mark it. All right, so now that you have your line drawn, you're gonna take your other square and you're going to just put them right sides facing each other, just like that. And I'm just gonna pop in a couple of pins here to hold it on each side. You can also use clips. The next thing that we want to do is we want to sew one quarter inch on this side of our line, of our drawn line. So we're going to sew a quarter inch down this side, and then we're going to sew a quarter of an inch down on the other side of our drawn line. We're going to do this on all four pieces. I'm going to chain piece these and that means sewing more than one at a time so you just keep on going together in the machine like that it goes so much quicker this way Okay, and we're just gonna do the same thing to this side now. We're just gonna flip it and, oops, I can't center that for some reason, come on. There we go. And then I'm just gonna start sewing again. I'm gonna pull this pin out because I don't wanna go over that with my needle.
So now you can see that we have all of our um, seams sewn right here. This is where we drew our line and this is where we sewed the quarter inch on both sides. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim these apart. Just going to cut those loose threads that are holding those together. I'm just going to trim those now. And then I will cut on our line here. So we're just going to cut that center line. And you can use a rotary cutter or you can use um, scissors to do this part. Also, when I am doing this, when I'm cutting triangles, half score triangles apart, I keep mine in the sets that they came, that I made them in. And the reason I do this is because sometimes you can get a little wonky in your sewing. And if you try to match that up with one of your other ones that is not wonky, it's not going to match up. And so that's why I do this but we're gonna be squaring these up anyway, so everything should be okay. So now what I will do is I will take this over to um, the pressing, pressing board. I'm going to press one towards this side, towards the pink side, and I'm going to press one towards the purple side. And what this is going to do is it's going to help it so that it will nest perfectly and give me those perfectly sharp points that I need. So I'm gonna go and do that right now. Okay, so I have gone ahead and pressed our flying geese there, or I'm sorry, our half square, half square triangles. And now what we need to do is we need to square this up to two and three quarters. So I'm just gonna line this up on my mat here on the line there. And I'm gonna take my square ruler and I am going to Flip this to the correct side for me. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my line right here on my ruler, right there, that di this diagonal line right here. And I'm going to line it up on my diagonal seam here. And then I'm going to come over to two and three quarters. And I'm gonna measure it just like this and I want to make sure that I'm still centered right here on my on my my block here I want to make sure my triangles are correctly lined and they are so you know always measure twice cut once and then I'm going to Put these little scraps aside. And then I'm going to turn my mat. Oops, there goes one of them. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna line up right there on that diagonal. And I'm right there on my two and three quarters and two and three quarters. And I am just going to trim off the rest of this. If my hand can remain steady. And then I have my square. We're gonna do this to all of the squares. We're gonna trim every single one of them down to two and three quarters. So before you do anything, you want to lay out your pattern. And I highly recommend doing this because I keep messing up every time I try to do it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to figure out placement.
And then you're gonna take your other squares, your four squares that you have remaining. We will cut these down to two and three quarters as well. But I just wanna put them right here. Like so. And now you can see how the star has formed there. So what I like to do is I like to put this on my rotary mat so that I can see how it is and then I take it with me over to the machine so that I can just sew it just the way it is. So I will show you how we're gonna do all of this. Okay, so now you can see I have my half square triangle squares together and I'm going to nest them together there. You see how that slides right in there. And then I'm just gonna sew a quarter of an inch down right there. And it should look something like this, as you can see. So those seams are nesting. One seam's going in th this direction, whoops going that direction and the other one is going to the right side so they're going opposite directions and that's how they fit together to lock and make our points perfect So now we have these all sewn. These are our half square triangles. So now what I like to do with these is I press them open with my finger. So I'm just gonna press them like this. Oops, come on. And I press mine flat is like straight open here. Yeah, come on fingers. Just like that. And I just use my nail or the pod the pad of my finger to to flatten that down. And then you'll have your your perfect point there. Okay, so I'm laying out the star on my mat and I'm going to flip over the one side and line that up because that's the order I'm going to sew them in and then I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch down. Okay, so I've gone ahead and stitched that. Now I'm going to press that seam outward. I'm going to take the middle seam and press it to the center. This is going to make it so that we can nest all of these together, these seams, once they're all attached. And then we're going to press that bottom one outward. So we don't want to trim the threads that are holding the star together right now. We just want to keep sewing it. And so now I'm going to take the last top piece and I'm going to put some clips here to hold those together. So part of the reason why I'm having an issue here is because I didn't cut it down, those squares down to two and three quarters. So if you want it to fit perfectly, that's where, what you're gonna need to trim it down to, but I went ahead and stuck with the three inches. And so they are a little larger than what's there so I'm adjusting for that extra but it's okay because it'll all get trimmed off once we square up the block so I'm not overly concerned about this part but if you want to trim it you are more than welcome to and if you don't want to trim it then you don't have to 
So now I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch down on those sides as well. Okay, so now our block is all sewn together and now we need to attach each row. So again, I am just going to start pressing my uh, the pieces that I just sewed together. I'm gonna press that one to the outer. I'm gonna press the center one into the center, just like we did previously with my fingers. And then I'm gonna press the bottom one out. And as you can see here, we have threads that are holding our star together right there. And we do not want to trim those. And the reason that we don't want to trim them is because it's going to help us to nest our seams together and our star will turn out pretty perfect actually. So I am going to nest those seams together even though they're already nesting because of the thread that's holding it together and because we lined them up. So now I am just nesting those together, even though those threads are holding it together. And I am going to just use some clips to help me keep that fabric straight. And then I will sew a quarter of an inch on the top and a quarter of an inch on the bottom. And then our block will be put together. Okay, so we have all of our pieces sewn together now. I'm gonna flip the star over and I am going to press my seam open on the back side. I'm gonna do a finger press with that first and then I will take this to the iron and I will press it really good and I will use some good hot steam to make it lay flat. I press my seams open, especially on patterns like stars or pinwheels because what it does is it reduces the bulk so that when you go to quilt it, you're not dealing with quite so many thick seams. Okay, so we have our star all sewn together and now we're gonna go ahead and square this up. We're gonna square this up to a nine inch block. So when our blocks are sewn together, they will finish at eight and a half inches. So let's do, let me show you how I do this. I have a ruler here and I'm just gonna line up on my four and a half inch mark here to square up. So I'm going to, and you could do this with any ruler just as long as you're measuring out your four and a half. So I use my center seam right here on my triangles and I line it up on my mat. So if you have a mat now that, um, what am I trying to say? a mat that'll go around in a circle. Um, now is a good time to do it because it'll hold your, your block in place and you'll be able to cut all the way around evenly without moving your block. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and measure four and a half. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm lined up on the line also on my mat here because I wanna make sure that my cut is perfect is straight. Okay. So I have it there. Now I'm going to just cut at four and a half. And now that piece is done. This is what's going to keep all of your corners um, and your points all sharp and you're not going to lose any of the points or any, it, the, the block is not going to distort. Let's see here. This one. Okay. So I'm on my four and a half inch mark here and I'm lined up and I'm just gonna trim that away. Oops, and that did move just a tad when I moved my ruler. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring it back here and just twirl it around a little bit. I'm gonna lay down my four and a half inch marking there. Trim it. And 
and we're going to do the last side. So you're going to do this to all four sides of your block. And now we have our star block. It's done. And it should be at nine by nine. So let's see, one, two, back just a little bit so I'm gonna use the squares on my mat to count here one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we'll do it up one two three four five six seven eight nine so it is a nine by nine inch square so you should have two blocks already started now and these are my two that I have so far Zoom out a little bit. There you go, you could see them. And they're really, really cute. Now mine is different. Remember I told you mine's gonna be pretty wild with the colors. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna lay them out yet, but these are the first two blocks of our quilt. So I also made a third one, which I may just stick in here somewhere else, but you can see the, how different this one is yet. So instead of doing the crazy prints around the block, I did the, the blue around it instead to make the star, sorry. And so this makes that star pop like that too. It's just a totally different look. So I like to put different things in and I'll just, just move them around as I go. But um, I wanted to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So go ahead and finish your, your block. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask down below in the description box. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to share it, that's great because sharing is caring. Um, if you wanna follow me on social media, those links are also down in the description box. I will link to where you can get these mats. Um, in the description box, there's a link that says link tree. If you click on that link, it'll take you to all of the places that I shop and that I'm an affiliate with and any purchases that you make through those links, um, help the channel to continue to grow. And that's it for me today. Keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.